hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here yeah we label this as equation one and this as equation two and from equation one we have x plus y equals to 10. yeah we can make y the subject and take x to the other side this, this becomes y equals to 10 minus x and we call this equation 3. Then also from equation 2, which is x times y equals to 10. We substitute equation 3 here. And this becomes x times y, which is 10 minus x. Then equals to 10 from here. The next step here, x open this bracket. We have 10x minus x square equals to 10 from here and when we rearrange on this side this becomes minus x square plus 10x then we take 10 to this side we have minus 10 then equals to 0 from here then from here we multiply this through by minus 1 and what we have here becomes plus x square then minus 10x and plus 10 here which is equals to 0 from here then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to minus 10 and c equals to 10 and from the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a then yeah this becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10 all over 2 times 1 that is here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus this is 10 then plus or minus square root of minus 10 square that's 100 then minus 4 times 1 times 10 that's 40 then all over 2 here that is here this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 40, that's 60, then all over 2 here. That is, next step, we can write this as x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 4 times 15, then over 2 here. Then from when we have root a times b, which we can separate as root a times root b. Here we can separate this and we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4 times root 15 all over 2. That is, we have x equals to 10 plus or minus root 4, that's 2, then root 15 all over 2 here. That is, 2 is common up here. And we have x equals to 2 into bracket 5 plus or minus root 15 left then over 2 that is here yeah, 2 cancelled each other and we have x equals to 5 plus or minus root 15 from here which implies we have two values of x the first one x1 equals to 5 plus root 15 and the second one x2 we have x equals to 5 minus root 15 that is we get the corresponding value of y using equation 3 which is y equals to 10 minus x then here we have y1 equals to 10 minus x1 which is into bracket 5 plus root 15 
here the minus open this bracket we have y1 equals to 10 minus 5 minus root 15 from here that is we have y1 equals to this 10 minus 5 that's still 5 then minus root 15 that is the first set of solution x1 comma y1 is now equals to x1 here as 5 plus root 15 10 comma y1 which is 5 minus root 15 then also here we get y2 we have y2 equals to using the same relation that's 10 minus x2 which is into bracket 5 minus root 15 the minus open this bracket we have y2 equals to 10 minus 5 plus root 15 that is y2 equals to 10 minus 5 that's also 5 then plus root 15 that is the second set of solution x2 comma y2 is also equals to x2 which is 5 minus root 15 then y2 which is 5 plus root 15 and when we look at this here the value of x here same thing as the value of y here and the value of y here same thing as the value of x here then we can check on the two equations we have if this satisfy this given equation from equation one we have x plus y equals to 10 that is we substitute the value of x and y here we can use equation one and once this first solution satisfy the second solution too will satisfy and x here we have 5 plus root 15 then plus y which is 5 minus root 15 is it equals to 10 on this side then we have root 15 minus root 15 this can't each other and we are left with 5 plus 5 is it equals to 10 on this side and 5 plus 5 that's 10 which is equals to 10 from here hence we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side that is these two solutions here we satisfy equation one then also we check for equation two which is x times y equals to 10 that is we substitute the value of x and y in x times y equals to 10 that is here we have x 5 plus root 15 times y which is 5 minus root 15 is equals to 10 from here and this here follows from when we have a plus b into brackets then open brackets a minus b which is same thing as a square minus b square at this what we have here follow this and can be written as 5 square minus root 15 square is equals to 10 on this side then 5 square 5 times 5 that's 25 then minus here yeah, root 15 square square cancel square we have 15 is it equals to 10 here yeah. and 25 minus 15 that's of course 10 which is equals to 10 on this side also left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that these two solutions here satisfy these two given equations and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now